Poetry is freedom. I, I think it's one of the things I I'd like forgotten that it shouldn't confine you. So I can say poetry is freedom. Some people have the idea that poetry comes from the rhythms in the body. Poetry is an obsession. Poetry is living. And poetry is like the best way to tell your story. What is poetry? Well, poetry is so old and its place in our lives uh, is so various that there's no one definition that's gonna do it. I like to think of what Marianne Moore tells us. She says that poetry gives us imaginary gardens with real toads in them. Poetry at Princeton is hard work. Poetry at Princeton is inspiring. Poetry at Princeton is um, being inspired by the people and the architecture and the knowledge around me to write um, and participate in poetry. You get a lot of chances here to rub elbows with poets, teachers, professors, and peers of a very, very high caliber. Well, poetry at Princeton, like some of those other P words, philosophy, physics, helps us to understand who we are in the world and indeed the universe. When the Sumerians hit on the lyre and the Egyptians, the cat, and I told you my heart was on fire, you said, good luck with that. When Byro It was interesting to be thinking point, of something. It was interesting to be thinking, to be thinking too. It was interesting. It was then she heard the voice, the one inside the voice, the one she heard. I find myself not then. even afloat, was instead it chasing wrists of light to lead me back poolside. You taught me to swim years ago, or thought so, and so did I, yet drowning comes... So every second year, we run the Princeton Poetry Festival. Uh, it's a festival, of course, is directed primarily towards our students, but it's also directed towards the local community and indeed the students in the local community. Under my linen shirt, Bill Evans shivers me. I skitter apart like the rays of the symbol sun. Your father swung his feet to the floor. The kids upstairs drag something back and forth on shrieking wheels. Poetry helps us to live our lives at all those other moments that may not seem quite so dramatic as the moments at which we uh, are born or get married or indeed die. The garbage men are talking trash deep in thought beside their truck. The job provokes reflection on essences and accidentals. Big beautiful book of zany brainy gobbledygook bobble heads are not enough while ivory towers wobble. Well, most of us are scared of poetry. Most of us have had a very, very bad experience of poetry, usually in high school. Uh, we've been taught, and I think taught is the operative word, to believe that without a guide in the form of a teacher, that a mere mortal would never find her or his way through a poem. It would be impossible. And indeed, it's important, I think, to realize that we have to learn to read poems. We have to learn to watch movies, that we don't realize what a great time we're having as we're doing it. We have to learn to listen to music, rock and roll, pop music. We have to learn to listen to that, just as we have to learn to uh, read a poem. So there's an element of education here which I think uh, is something that we have to address right the way through the education system. And uh, we're very happy to be able to try to play our part in all of that uh, at Princeton. And I told you my heart was on fire. You said, good luck with that.
it's just a way to make our really boring lives really exciting on the page and to sort of examine what life is.